the Access Project, which is a project that I've led in Rwanda for several years, and actually which is currently completely led by Rwandis, it's a huge success story because when I started up this project, we had a fully expat team. So we had a lot of Americans who were over living in Rwanda, working with the government side by side, literally at the desk with the Minister of Health as the scaling up began in Rwanda. But over time, we managed to build the capa capacity of Rwandese to take over the project. Today, the entire project is led by Rwandans, and the private sector is actually taking notice. So Pfizer, for example, the pharmaceutical company, has a global health fellows program, and every year they are sending the access project some of their key person personnel, personnel in management and accounting and strategy, who are working with this Rwandan team in order to further make improvements to the healthcare system in Rwanda. That's a great example of public-private partnership. Another key partner that we have in Rwanda in the field is General Electric. Through the GE Foundation, GE has actually done some amazing things in Rwanda and across sub-Saharan Africa and places like Ghana as well. They've actually said, we're not going to give away our worst products. We're not going to give away our cheapest products. We're not going to give away last year's products. We're going to take our top-of-the-line products. We're going to send experts out to the field and figure out what are the needs in health centers, in hospitals. And if those countries and those health centers and those hospitals can demonstrate that they're competent and conscientious and that they can manage and maintain the hardware that we're willing to put in place, we will send out teams, we will train them in the utilization of this hardware, and we will put it out there in the field. And I've seen GE already pour millions of dollars this way into Rwanda, and it literally has changed the quality of healthcare for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people.